some lunch and afterwards she's got a haircut. <laughs> It's a little vending machine. So, put in your money. So, you get one of this and another one for Thomas. And it comes up with tickets here. You get some money, you'll see that's one. You'll get some money, you'll see that's one. Boom. So this here was used to cover the chopsticks, but midway during your meal, if you're wanting extra uh, rice, for example, or uh, extra meat, or green onions, etc etc uh, if you want any of those you can just actually take the pen over here circle what you want put the exact change that it says down on the table and when you're ready you just click this button and someone will come and help you so the instructions are kind of right along here as well it's pretty neat Not mine. He's walking way ahead of me right now. Let's go. Did you find it? Is this it? Here we go. Vietnam Chang. What happened? We walked for 15 minutes. All reserved. <laughs> and I'm in heels and I've been walking 15 minutes just to get here. You go back to the other video. Uh, Tracy and I are on a date, a beautiful date here in Shinjuku, Tokyo, one of the most beautiful, lively areas of this city. And uh, we're going for some amazing, yeah. amazing gourmet. Vietnamese food. <laughs> More like the cheapest meal we could We're find. whining and dining. She's whining. And no. then we dine. Wine and dine. It's a beautiful thing. We're here. Let's see if we can get in this time. It's 
is Tuesday, October 11th, and we are here again, city office. Good evening, everybody, or morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. Good morning, friends and family. Um, today has been an all in all decent day. Started off really bad. Before I get into that, I just have a couple things in front of me here. We just kind of went and got some household items for ourselves and I thought I'd share. It's nothing really special, but for those who are interested, uh, I thought I'd share. So first thing is, boom, multi-surface cleaner. So this was just absolutely insane just to get this. It's more so for the kitchen, but can be used for everything else, I think, or so we think. We don't know until we try, so it's a mystery because we can't read squat except for the few letters here. Uh, I mean, at the back, there's all this gibberish. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'll show you guys another video here uh, of exactly what I mean. We're having some problems, guys can't read anything and there's all these choices. All we're looking for is a multi-purpose cleaner. And we've been here so for hard. half an hour. <laughs> what does it say guys? Help me. It says blah 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 blah. <laughs> so we're looking at the pictures and trying to guess. Google Translate doesn't help very much. Like from here, I can see that this is for air conditioning units. <laughs> this is for, I don't know, shiny objects for the floor. Maybe that one will work for everything. And this is for bathroom, but we want one that just works with everything. Uh, I'm not sure. Try it out. Use it and if my hands melt, then it melts. <laughs> Whatever. Shogunai. Getting the smallest things, like household items, is a challenge here. You know, something that would only take literally two minutes at like Superstore or something back home. It's gonna take a long time. I got detergent here. Boom, same thing. Was a bit of a struggle to get this. Um, this little cap here is to uh, help refill the bottles, which is pretty awesome, uh, pretty efficient. I'm sure something like this exists, uh, exists in Canada as well, so it might not be too special, but I just thought I'd share anyways. Next is paper towels. Um, why is this special? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you paper towels. Um, little bottles for me when I am at karate after I am super sweaty and nasty I want to clean my body off so I'm gonna bring some soap and shampoo with me so I can smell fresh and go it after uh, instead of having to come home all the way home and then going back out uh, next are a pair of scissors to cut my hair um, so if in the next little while or the next couple of videos if my hair is looking disgusting, please let me know. Don't be shy. Don't be overly nice. Tell me that I'm looking bad because we're going to try to do it ourselves. So either Tracy and I screwed up really bad and it is what it is. I, I got to save money. I, I don't have a choice. I can't pay 50 bucks every two weeks to get a haircut out here. It's just too much. I could go to 2000 yen places which is equivalent to um if the rate is 100 yen to one dollar it'd be 20 bucks but probably with the rate now you're looking at say 30 bucks or maybe even 35 bucks i don't know but i just don't have that money to spend i don't have that luxury of that money over here so we got a budget so i cut my own hair it's an experiment it's an experience we'll see how it goes but if you're wondering why i don't have money to pay for it it's because Tracy is getting these organic shampoos and conditioners and she's living the ball in life and somebody's got a sacrifice in the relationship and that is me. I gotta, I, hit it. 
I got no choice. Liar. You gotta make the girl happy. You're a liar. And that's why we are happily together for over five years now. <laughs> it takes sacrifice. So, this for this is gonna be gone. Hopefully not. <laughs> Anyways guys, on to the story about going to the city office today or about our day. So, <clears throat> just a note before I talk about everything. Today was our very first day of work. Um, all in all, it went well, but I'll talk about the first part first and why our day was kind of just completely messed up in the beginning and we basically lost our marbles, Tracy and I. So we went to the city office Again, because we were at a temporary address, as mentioned in a couple videos back, um, we had to, we moved from our temporary address to our actual address. And so on the back of our residence card, we have to write our new address on the back. And so basically in order to do that, you can't just write at home and be done with. You actually have to go to the city office and register your address. And so they will just write it at the back of your card. And so something like that, you would think would take only about 15 minutes. 30 minutes, okay, maybe one hour at most if it's busy. Um, but we got in there, it wasn't necessarily busy at all actually, it was just steady I would say. And all in all, it took us two hours, which is brutal. I don't know why it took that long. When we first got in there, we basically got our number. Uh, we got seen by one of the personnel there and they helped process us through and they said, okay, we're just gonna put the address at the back of your card, please have a seat. Now this is only, only about 15 minutes in after getting there. So we're like, okay, great, everything's looking okay so far, it's gonna be done pretty soon. Off we go, we got time for lunch, we may even have time to do some shopping and then head to work. Now today, it's a bit of a weird day. Uh, again, it was our very first day of work and so it was just more so training. We started at 3.30 p.m. Um, and so again, we got there at the city office and so we sat down waiting for our card to be returned to us with the ad address at the back. And so when we first sat down, we saw a whole group of people around us. We saw those people go up, get their stuff and go. And then next thing you know, we started seeing new people come in and then they would get their stuff and off they went. And then another round of people came in, they got their stuff and off they went. And we're like, okay, it's, it doesn't really add up here. Everything, everyone's getting served. They're going and I saw a couple of people go up and actually uh, hand in the same thing as we did, which is changing their address, get a handing that in and then going and then seeing them getting done before us. So we're like, hey, something's not right here. So I went up to the lady and I, by this time, I waited a really long time. I didn't want to bother them. I just felt terrible. And again, with my limited Japanese, I really couldn't say or really explain myself properly. By then it was already waiting, but it was say about an hour and a half but I managed to do it. I went up to the lady and I was like, look, I got work in half an hour. My workplace is 20 minutes from here. Can you see where our stuff is? Please, I'm in a rush. And so she's like, oh, she's super nice about it. And she's like, okay, no problem, I'll go look at it. And she came back, she's like, oh, just another 10 minutes. And then by that time, I was just so worried again. One thing to note about Japanese time is that if, for example, you have a meeting or an appointment or whatever at 12 o'clock, if you're meeting your friend or if it's a work meeting, or you got a class, doesn't matter, you should be there at least, in my opinion, or for what I've noticed, at least 15 minutes early. When I go to karate or karate at the university, class starts, uh, for example, at 1.30, I am usually there by 12.45. That is 45 minutes ahead of time because it's just a thing to do. I feel that if you show up right on the dot here in Japan, it's almost looked down upon or frowned upon. And if you show up, um, late that is even worse so again back to the story we had 10 minutes before our next train was coming which would take about 20 minutes which then we would show up right on the dot at work so I was like oh my goodness okay I wait I just kind of kept my cool even though I was screaming inside I was quite pretty infuriated by that time 10 minutes passes then 15 I'm like okay now we're seriously late I had to call my workplace tell my new boss that I would be late and it was super embarrassing. Um, and so I went up to the counter again, I was like, hey, is our stuff ready? And she said, oh, okay, I'll go check again. And she just went and looked in this pile and our stuff was there. And so I don't know if the guy who processes through had misplaced our stuff, not realized until the lady first told him and then came back to us and said, it'll take another 10 minutes. 
because again, printing an address, a one line address on the back of your car, you wouldn't think that would take long, but it did. Um, and so I feel that it was either misplaced or not processed through, other people were put ahead of us, I don't know. You know, right now I'm kind of pointing the finger. Um, you know, I could show up early, we could have showed up earlier, but one wouldn't think it would take two hours to do that in my opinion. Um, so for next time I know better, show up just early and don't have anything planned for the day. Just plain and simple, just don't because honestly I don't want to repeat that again. Basically, finally when she checked the second time, it was just sitting in that pile. I don't know why they just left it there after knowing that we were in a rush to go. And the thing is, we couldn't just leave the city office without our cards and just take off and go to work because the thing is, again, I couldn't explain it to her properly that can I just get my card back? When I asked the first time, I tried to attempt to just say, can I get my card back? But she didn't really get it. She's just like, oh, it's, I believe she said from my best understanding that once well, in the process, just give it another 10 minutes. We can't stop the process now. The thing is, you can't just leave because then you won't have your card and without your card if you actually get stopped or pulled over and get id'd or whatever if you don't have your residence card you can actually be fined for that and potentially even probably the worst is even go to jail and so that's something that we um definitely didn't want to happen so for that reason we have to have our residence card and that card is basically our official id for everything we need to do and so we really need that we couldn't just leave it at the office and so I had to wait, we finally got it, and I rushed the heck out of there. I looked on my Google Maps and it said it would take maybe 12 minutes to drive there, so I jumped into a cab, and then I told the guy, I need to go to here, and then I'm like, how long is it gonna take? And he's like, uh, maybe 20 minutes. I'm like, oh my God. So then we just ran out of taxi, we ran to the train station, got into the train, showed up at work 10 minutes late. It was so embarrassing, um, even though, my boss who's super awesome said you know it's totally cool don't worry about it things happen like that sometimes deep down inside it wasn't cool for me, for either tracy or i it's again the worst first impression you want to have to any workplace um showing up late like that and so not a good first experience um but we you know we managed to get through it we kind of put it behind us after i uh, well even now thinking about it i feel terrible about it and so tomorrow I have karate training. Tracy actually has another day of work there. And so I told Tracy, I think a thousand times, she's probably annoyed with me now. But I said, make sure you show up at least 45 or 30 to 45 minutes early. Don't be late, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, she's totally got it. And she'll make a good impression for us. I'm not worried about that. I know she'll do fine. Today, again, was our first day of work. It was just a shadow day. We were just watching how the teachers do their thing. We got a job as English teachers here in Japan uh, for young children um, in elementary, kindergarten, elementary age group. Um, and so we just basically watched how they teach. And it was pretty fun just seeing everything. You know, it's a complete different career for tr both Tracy and I, as uh, most of you know. And for those who don't know, both Tracy and I are registered nurses back at home. Um, and so that is our specialty. But I'm really excited for it. Tracy and I are super stoked. We had a great day learning. After which we went to McDonald's, not for the food. We actually didn't buy anything. <laughs> We're cheap enough because we don't have Wi-Fi here at home um, because it's quite expensive. And so we went to McDonald's for free Wi-Fi and we kind of snuck upstairs we i you know you're probably supposed to order an item to be able to sit in mcdonald's but we kind of just booked it upstairs without anyone noticing use their free wi-fi for a bit kind of browse the net edit some videos for you ladies and gentlemen and then uh, now we're back at home just relaxing so on to the next day bye guys <laughs>